Greetings, Pepin Falcons, and welcome to an important edition of Math is More Than Fun at Pepin. I am your host, Mr. Newber. This is going to be lesson three, and we're finally going to get into solving these equations. We're, we're going to do the basic steps where we actually have to have the equation up to work on it. Okay, pretty exciting stuff. Let's review. 20 seconds, all right? We know the purpose of this exercise in, in, in solving equations is to find out what x is equal to. We want to isolate that unknown. You like my pointer? Uh, we want to isolate the unknown and then identify the goal. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do here. And this is it right here. I look in the equation. I see numbers. And I see X's. I see a letter. I know I'm only going to see the same letter, but it could be in multiple places, and it is. So what is my goal? This is my goal. X equals. I'm going to write it right down there, and that's how I want you to do it, too, when you solve equations. I want you to identify the goal. All right? Now, the next one is we talked about the unknowns and the integers. All right? How we cannot combine them. This 12 and this 4 are simply integers. Those are what I call oranges, and I will call them oranges. I can combine those. This means I have 12 oranges and I take away 4. Easy. But it has nothing to do with this x and this 7. Those are apples. Those remain separate. Okay? Uh, this is, this is, we have to do this around the world as I demonstrated with my music system. We must do this. And, and, and when, we, when we just combine what we're supposed to, keep the apples and oranges together, then we are respecting the equal sign, which is the most important symbol in math. That whatever is over here is the exact same quantity precisely to the crumb as this over here. Today's lesson, lesson is we're going to start combining the terms. And the terms that we're going to combine are the apples and the oranges. So you're going to see this term come up a lot, like, like terms. That doesn't mean you have to like them. It doesn't mean you can dislike them if you don't like. But what that means, this word like comes from the word alike. So some of you are alike in some respects. Some of you are not alike in some respects. All of the apples are alike. So we call those like terms. All of the oranges are alike. They're all the same thing. That's why we call them like terms. So the main thrust in this lesson is going to be all of the apples are like terms. All of the oranges are also like terms. Two different sets of like terms. We are going to combine the like terms until no more than one of each is on both sides, both sides of the equation. And once again, if you remember, we had this balance scale in here. So when we combine these things, if we take 12 minus 4, the minus 4 is already in the dish. When we, combine, when we take the 12 and, and subtract 4 from it, which is what? That's right, Christopher. It's 8. That 8 is, is, is in here because the, the positive 12 is in here and the negative 4 is also in here. So when we're combining terms on one side over here, we're not affecting this at all because we're not taking anything in or out. We're just combining them. Okay? When, when we have the apples and the oranges out at the produce, at, at the Win dixie I mean, if, if, we're, if we're taking them and selling them and we're restocking them, it doesn't, it doesn't have anything, anything to do with changing the amount that's both in the back and in the, and in the front at, at the, where, you, where you're buying them in the count. It has nothing to do with that. This is already in the dish. This is already on this side. And that's why it will remain equal until we start removing them or adding them to them. So what you see in an equation is already in here. So let's give this a try and see how it works. When I'm doing this, 
I'm doing one side at a time. I'm only doing one side at a time. So I'm going to take this, and I'm, this is how I'm thinking about it. Or actually, I could just stand in front of it like this. I'm going to do this at, I don't even care what's over here. I mean, there, there could be the number 100. It, it, it doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with what I'm going to do over here. Okay? So let's try this. All right. What's the first thing that we can combine? Apples or oranges? Well, I can take the apples. That came up first. I have a 7x here. That means I have 7 of them. 7 times x is the same thing as x plus x plus x. You know how this goes. Plus x and so on and so on and so on until I have 7 of them. That's all that means. All right. So where is the other? Is there another one in here? Yes, there it is. We're going to take away three of them. All right, we can do that. We're going to take away three of them. So up here, get up there, doggy. All right, when, so up here, what we're going to do is take away, oh, look at this. We'll take away these three over here. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four. Well, that's pretty easy. There we go. The fact that this is being multiplied is part of a term that, can, that is going to be multiplied times a number that we don't know yet. Doesn't, we, we still have 7 of them. And then what we're going to do is combine that with the minus 3, and we come up with 4x. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write that down right here. Uh, it's kind of in my way here. So let me erase this. And I'm going to put 4x right here, because we combine this apple and this apple, and we get 4x. Good. We've already talked about the oranges, right? We have a 12, and we're going to subtract 4 of them. Who can do this in their head? Of course you can. 12 minus 4 is 8. Is that a positive number? Yes. I have 12 of them. And I take away 4, I still have 8 of them, that's a positive, so I'm going to put a positive 8. Now one thing I'm going to try to do here, and when I'm working from the side, I'm not as, as generally productive as I am when I'm working right in front, I'm going to try to keep my equal sign straight. So I'm going to put my equal sign right here. Now what we did is, we compared or we combine apples and oranges on this side. We're done. See that? Nothing to it. All right, let's go over on this side now. I don't need this color because I already did my equal sign. Let's go over on this side. We start with an orange. Okay, is there another orange in here? No, that's not it. Oh, what about this one? Yeah, that's just a number. This is 10. We subtracted 4 over here. Over here, it looks like we're going to add. Okay, well, here's 10. And now we're going to add 4. So what does that give us? 14. All right. So I'm going to start with 14. That's what we just did. All right. Now I'm not going to put the sign there yet. I'm going to look at this. And here is an apple. 2x. Actually, two of them. Right. And I'm going to come down here. Oh, and here's another one. And that is going to be 3x. So I'm going to have 3x. And that's all we're going to do in today's lesson. Now, could, could we, you think you could do that again? Can you do that with, a, with, a, um, with an equation that has multiple terms on both sides? I'm going to leave my goal there. I'm going to leave my goal right there. Now I'm looking at this. When you solve equations, there's a general movement into a V. You can think of that as V for victory. All right? This is much less involved, not complicated. This is much less involved. In fact, this has eight characters in it. This one only has four. See, we're simplifying it. And the next step down is going to be even simpler. And then the next step down is even simpler. Then the last step before this one creates this, which is our goal. All right? So, so th this... This is reducing this and making it something that is easier and easier to work with. But this is a very critical. You, you don't want to make a mistake here. You don't want a 15 here. All right. You don't want to add these two and have a 16 over here. Because, I mean, you may still get a, a number down here, but it isn't going to be correct. All right. 
So another point that I want to make is right now this right here is this with the balance scale. This side is perfectly and exactly and precisely the same thing as this side. All right. There was one more thing I wanted to say and now it slipped my mind. But I, I'll, and when, I, when I think of it, I will, uh, oh, if, if you want to, if this is all new to you, for some of you, uh, man, you've probably been doing this for two, three years, but if, if this is new to you and you're learning this new, if you want to, when, well, let me back this up. Let me back this up and do this side again, all right? If you need to, don't feel bashful about doing this. All right, so Mr. Newber said, come on this side, all right? So I start with a 10, and I'm looking for another orange here. Oh, here it is. It's going to be 10 plus 4. Well, 10 plus 4, I can do that in my head. That's 14, okay? So I'm going to put my 14 down here. And now you look up here, and you're thinking, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I keep thinking, of, you can do this if you want. We're not going to use this line anymore. The 10 and the 4 are gone. They combined to make 14. You can cross them out. And, and now, now look what, in fact, if you're doing, you can really cross them out if you want to. You can do this if you want to. Now look what's left. Oh, just apples. A 2x and a 1x. That's 3x. And now I can put that in. And I'm all done. If you need to cross these out, as you combine them and come up with a term for the next line, that's perfectly fine. That's fine. Whatever works for you, just so you can keep it straight. Okay? That is the end, and that is this one. When you tune in, I'm going to have these. I had to move these over here, and then we'll have them go down this side. And you can always stop the video and read these again if you didn't get this down. I try to give you enough time to copy it down, but maybe that didn't work out. And all of, the, all of them will be in the, in the print that you can read and that you can write down when you're taking notes. All right? And if, if I'm going too slow for some of you, because you already know how to do that, we're, we're going to get involved here. So, so be, be patient. It's going to come. All right? Great. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video.